G'day guys, so I'm here with a legend. Traveling Tice. Traveling Tice? Yes. We've been meaning to catch up for quite a long time. Oh, How long have we known each other? Years. Without actually knowing each other. Yeah, right? like four or five years. Four or, or five like years, this. something yeah. like this. And he has his own YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, I'll have a link down below. But we've been meaning to catch up for such a long time. That I, feel, I feel like it's really interesting to actually connect in person. Yeah. And it feels like we've known each other. That's like, the crazy thing. You know, for yeah. a really long time, which exactly. is quite fascinating. I yeah. think it's when you attract a certain type of person. Yeah, and we've been living sort of... in sort of like the similar, how do you call it, like similar careers in some ways. I mean, we both started, mm. you know, cycle traveling and mm -hmm. we're both doing like... We're both wearing um, same colored clothing. I just noticed that. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I cut you off though. <laughs> no, yeah, but that's, that's the thing, right? Like you just, you know... Yeah, and that's also the reason why I wanted to like make this trip because I, I knew like we would have to meet at some point and I was mm. going to Australia. I mean, I was on the other side of Australia, which is like a five hour flight still. But anyway, we were close we yeah. <laughs> and we made it happen in the end. And I'm very glad that it's, uh, it's coming together now. So it's yeah, very good. It's very fascinating. Yeah, it's cool to talk to you because it's, it's, it's given me an inspiration to get back into content creation and right. all of that and, yeah. and to talk about our stories and where we've come from and all these things and like bringing that back into the present. Yeah. It gives me like good direction moving forward with what I want to do here and sharing these stories. And, and there is a lot of thing. exciting stuff going on for both of us. You exactly. Know? We might even see each other like soon in China. How crazy is that? Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy it's stuff. very yeah. exciting. We're definitely going to film something longer form as yeah. well. So we're planning a little adventure for today. We're heading off to Lamington National Park to get a bit of nature in. Tice hasn't seen a bit of nature in a while, so I think exactly. it'd be good. To yeah. get a little Especially inject. from like Australia and Asia, like it's been yeah. a long time. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, this looks pretty good. Look. Oh, Kumara. Kumara Circuit Walk. I mean, this one is pretty lengthy. This is like four hours. Nice. So, Waterfalls and everything. Yeah. So we've got about an hour drive. So uh, yeah, we're going to head off. Yeah, let's go. So where are we now, Cody? We're at Seeds of, Seeds of Life. Life, which is like a vegan, cool vegan place. <laughs> Showing ties to the vegan extraordinary yeah, options the vegan that these world. guys have. Um, you're thinking about getting the shepherd's I'm, I'm shepherd's pie, huh? That looks, that looks like yeah. pretty, what do you call that, like sizable? Yeah, a good portion, yeah. Very uh, similar to meat, maybe. <laughs> Small one. It looks kind of like a meat dish, right? <laughs> I don't know, is it? <laughs> no, I'm just thinking like, it looks like it's got lentils and Could stuff. Be, yeah. Just like a good uh, transition dish. Yeah, so okay, like, sort of like an introduction. <laughs> an introduction, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to... Uh, yeah. cool. I don't know, man. What that pizza slice for? looks good. I might get the hemp stack, but the size, like, the, you, you've got a good choice there with the size. Yeah. I'm starving. So. Yeah, you're starving, so yeah. Yeah. So, Tux. Yeah. Are you vegan? I'm not. But I'm in for anything. Yeah. So whatever Cody introduced me to, it, he might convert me. Who knows? Probably not. The I love how open you are to trying that. Of course. I really appreciate yeah. that. That's awesome. Yeah. What do you think That's about good. the menu? Is it good? Huh? I mean, these also look pretty good. These smoothie balls and everything. Yeah, don't they look great? Like, they look pretty good. That looks good, eh? Yeah. Might as well go for a smoothie bowl. Oh, smoothie bowl. And then if you take the shepherd's one, I can take. Uh, I can yeah, we go Harvey's. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. All right, cool. You happy with what you got, mate? It was pretty good, hey. What what one did you get? It's the Lucius Lucius Mermaid. Lucius Mermaid. Yeah. Almost feels like I'm in Bali right now. Because I want. I want yeah, to, I get into it. it. So. Wait, you took a bite of that? Or are you gonna no, try this I'm one? I'm gonna get a bite of this. So this is the shepherd's pie, it's pretty soft. So I wanna get an opinion of a non-vegan's experience with a shepherd's pie mm. that's made from lentils. I mean, to me, it almost tastes like I'm eating tomato soup. <laughs> tomato soup? <laughs> I don't know why. Because of the tomatoes. I guess it has tomatoes in it. Yeah. It's not that bad. It is an interesting taste. I mean, I would eat it. I, I guess the problem is like I don't really know what a normal shepherd's pie tastes like. Hmm. Well, you never tried a shepherd's pie. I, I, I guess I have at some point, but I just forgot the taste. Right. Of it. It's not bad. Well, I'm proud of you for trying. So yeah. good stuff. Oh, good. It's good. <laughs> so we've had the beautiful experience of meeting Pete. Yeah. And um, he's just explaining. This is Tice from Taiwan. This is Tice. He's American, so. 
I'm yeah. from all over the place, so it's... Uh, <laughs> He's been everywhere. He's been but everywhere. but Tice came here to try a little bit of vegan food, and and you've been grateful enough to share a lot of your wisdom when it comes to nutrition well, and your whole story journey. here. Yeah, yeah. This is our health journey, and uh, we've been on this for ten years now. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, we've learned a lot the hard way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is very interesting. Yeah, it's definitely an eye opener for me. Uh, so I'll be able to uh, look more into uh, all of this uh, that's going on. So good. We good to go. Let's go. Let's, Let's do go. it. Do, get some nature. Let's nature it. Nature, nature, nature. nature. Yeah. It's actually a really good day to uh, go out, I think. Not too warm. And, yeah, it's been, good. it's been a good meeting. It's, it's going to be a bit short because we only have two days. <laughs> but, yeah, we've, we've, got, we, we've got so much to like film and talk about and it feels like we're trying to compress a whole <laughs> lifetime into two days. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Which I don't think is the most ideal thing. No, <laughs> we're trying to make yeah. it work. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Very cool stuff. Right. Let's uh, keep on hiking and enjoy a bit more of the nature around here. Nice. <laughs> cool, dude. Yeah. All right, my turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no worries, yeah. <laughs> Take over. If, if you want to use the, you, you want to use the, the kicks, the, this thing. Oh, use it for a bit if you want. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you want to, you want to try yeah, that? Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be handy with the uh, this trap. Oh, I'll take this. Oh, one. Can, you, can you take it off? All right, we made it. We're in nature. <laughs> Finally, some nature. Exactly. Oh, it's been a while yeah. since um, being able to get into some nature, so it's good to just breathe in the fresh air and take it all in. Very um, nice. So that was cool. We just saw a snake, a uh, carpet python. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was cool. So it's always great to catch up with like-minded people and, and just collab in, in, in really cool, deep ways. Exactly. And um, it's, re it's really cool just to connect with someone like Tice because I feel like we have a lot in common. And we've been trying to, like I've said before, like plan this meetup for some time. Yeah. Um, and it just feels so right. And it's really cool to talk to Tice about his his entrepreneurial journey, his startup journey, because he's working on something at the moment, which is kind of really fascinating. And you're trying like multiple different things, right? Like yes. you've, you've built multiple different platforms, different websites and things like this. Yeah, I'm definitely in a, in a period in my life where I'm doing a lot of experimentation. Mm. And uh, this, this most recent one is, is going to be very interesting because I'm going to be going to China to sort of China. see if this application will hold anything like on the ground there and uh, yeah I'm going to the Canton Fair which is like the largest trade show I think in the world at this point it's really really big uh, but yeah the past couple of months have been very interesting it's been a bit of a transition because if you go to my channel you'll see quite a few videos that I've uploaded recently from like some older trips and once that project was sort of finished I had a video up that said like what is next for traveling ties and what is next for me is indeed this startup journey in like creating an online business and doing all that sort of stuff so yeah it's been uh, it's been a very interesting learning curve I uh, did a lot of like small startups and most of them failed obviously but I've learned a lot of lessons through them and I think that's that's sort of what life is right like you just you stumble you get up again you get going and uh, yeah that's also like how this whole trip sort of came about and you know, it's such a serendipity with me mm. going to Australia to meet some old friends. And even though Cody, he's also in Australia, it was the other side, but <laughs> that was all good. So you and came uh, from Perth? Yeah, exactly. All the way over here Perth. to yeah. the Goldie, to the Gold Coast. And I brought my bicycle with me that I left <laughs> in Perth five years ago. The good old traveling type. <laughs> this, like is, the this is his bicycle. bike, the Trek 520 that yes. he's been riding since the early days of bike touring. Exactly. And it's uh, still riding. It's still good. You know, it's just amazing <laughs> that... <laughs> it's been sitting here all this time and I even had like a tent and everything still here so it's like it's pretty funny to see uh, that like old chapter in my life and mm. sort of you know seeing some old friends and that sort of stuff and uh, it's really cool to, to look back on yeah. your, your journey right and see it yeah. all as stepping stones that connect to where you're you're at today yeah right? exactly because it was definitely like a very transformative part of my life so that was mm. you know and also like the time in Perth was also very transformational so it was very good to sort of see that again and experience that and it's also very cool to sort of jump in a bit of an uncomfortable position to go somewhere and meet someone that I've never met before in real life but it all worked out perfectly so we've got some ooh, liar birds I think they might not be because I don't think liar birds are from around here Wow. 
Yeah, it's it's quite the um, interesting <laughs> journey, YouTube, isn't it? Like yeah. the in the uncalculable effects of it of creating content online, yeah, putting you yourself know, know. out there, yep. and people commenting and just naturally organically attracting a certain kind of person exactly through yeah. your content is very yeah. fascinating to me hey do you yeah, feel the same that's the thing and that's why like this whole experience is like meeting you this morning is like it's as if we already know each other for like i don't know <laughs> three or four years or something like that it's just crazy yeah. how it just works it is it is crazy hey yeah yeah it never ceases to amaze me yeah so cool and like i remember you you were saying like you've had some moments where people walk up to you you know, on the road, on the side of the road. Yeah, exactly. That's how I actually got set up in Perth in the first place because someone uh, recognized me from YouTube. And uh, yeah, it became really good friends and we've kept in contact all these years. And I could actually stay at his place again just now. <laughs> I mean, he's still at my bicycle as well in his garage. So it's like, yeah, so funny. And that's, that's exactly the thing about serendipity and putting mm. yourself out there because that's the only way you can just sort of create these situations. And that's why it's so good. So yeah, yeah, hundred percent agree. It's it's very fascinating because I was reflecting on on this idea like last night actually. Yeah, I wrote something like this. I was like, don't ever underestimate the impact your presence has on the world. Yeah, it's truly so beautiful to realize those who have benefited from your experience. Yeah, from like you sharing your own experience, right? Exactly. And and most of those experiences you'll never know about. Exactly. Right. That's what that's what I continue oh, on to say, go. right? <laughs> so you you mean the experience of like them being affected by what yeah, you do. You, you, you'll, you'll always, or at least that's what my inclination is, you'll always mm. underestimate your impact. 100%. That's been my reality for the past few years, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm, surely I'm not that kind of person who can have that kind of impact, right? It's exactly, almost like yeah. a... Yeah. And you're I feel like you're, you're seeing a very value. Similar, you have a very similar character to me where we both feel this inclination or we both do have this great potential to sort of make the connection because i've mm. seen your video where you interviewed this local person in lombok and i don't think a whole lot of people can actually establish that connection with someone that might be of such a different mm. uh, cultural background but you were able to do that and i think that that's a very powerful thing oh, um, I appreciate to, that. yeah to Thank be you. able to 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 tell those stories that otherwise are not going to be told mm. in you know in our sort of world which is like the youtube world and everything like that so mm -hmm. I really yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. It's just mind blowing. Yeah. Like the the incalculable effect, the compounded effect, because that's a video. Ah, oh, damn. These guys don't have any contacts now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, well, that might that might just come up naturally. We'll uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah we'll <laughs> Getting used to this content creation. Thing. <laughs> um, yeah. So going back to that quote that I was saying. Um, it's, tr it's truly so beautiful to realize those who have benefited from your existence, but it's mm. not in a way to inflate your ego, but it's like a, a, a full, like genuine essence, right? So it's, mm -hmm. it's this, um, because it comes from an authentic space of care for another, what makes it even more magical is the unknowable vast often unseen influence we have exactly yeah. even a friend uh even friendly sm oh i was i was just about to say this i was just gonna say it <laughs> yeah, can okay. be anything it can even be a smile mm. that you give to someone mm. on the street it can it can be anything you know and that and that could even lead to someone feeling a little bit happier exactly. than taking taking the courage to like i don't know make some kind of phone call that would then lead them to something more so that's the beautiful thing about being all connected uh-huh uh in some you know in these serendipitous ways so it's like mm. yeah so good so good yeah it's perfect yeah so even a friendly smile to a stranger on a rough day can make a difference <laughs> yes i believe that even just acknowledging somebody's existence with all your presence is enough yeah enough to shift the world in a slightly more positive light this compounded over a lifetime, the effects are incalculable. Exactly, the ripple effects of, mm. of, of all of that is... So if you're ever thinking that you so, might so, not be good enough for something, then... Can, can we just quickly preface this, yeah, sorry? Yeah, by just ahead. saying, like, imagine we're talking to fellow content creators. Okay. Because I feel like I want to connect with other people who are creating. Yeah. Like us, right? Yeah. What would you say in that context then to someone who's wanting to put themselves out there that might not want to because like maybe they feel like they're not good enough or their perspective isn't as valuable as others they see online you know what i mean because i feel like mm. we all have something to give 
Yeah. We are all light. We are all yes. like this beautiful essence yeah. that everything started from. And that, and that is like if what you're describing right now. That's when you are like, in, in, they call it the dip, right? Like that is the hard part of it. And actually recently I've been experiencing the same thing in this new venture that I'm doing with these online startups. Sometimes I really feel like I'm just screaming in the void. <laughs> you know, you're, you're putting stuff out there. Like I'm, I'm on Twitter a lot because that's where a lot of these other startup founders are. And it's very difficult because you put stuff out there, but you get just no response from it. And that can be super um, frustrating, you know? But it's just a matter of like hanging in there, but also really finding what you're passionate about so you can keep going, even though the going gets like really tough. But you still mm. have this sort of source of meaning to always come back to and knowing that you're doing the right thing because you're doing something that you're probably passionate about. Mm. Um, and that's how you can sort of hang in there and keep going. But yeah, it's sort of like what Cody described as right now he's in a situation where he has to do something, you know, right. like he's being forced to make this change in his life. And sometimes I feel like you do need this push in order to do it. And I'm in a very different position where I have like a stable job right now that I've had for four years. And it sometimes makes me very complacent to you know mm. not really put yourself out there and stuff like that so mm. it's yeah. a very fascinating subject and we've talked about this today and it's it's very interesting because i feel like i was also very complacent right yeah and content i'm still content to this day actually but more complacent and comfortable with where i was at because i made it i made it in the sense of what i thought i made it yeah. or of, of the sense of what i thought like making it means and, and everything like that right like materialistic sort of right so i had yeah. all those ticked off for what i wanted Nothing too complex, but you know, comfort, basic comforts met, yeah. all these kind of things. But it took like me to lose that all yeah. to be free. Like, it's very fascinating. Like, it's interesting that the universe had that in, in its plan for me yes. to really learn and understand that yeah. rather than me just learning it without having to go through all that. But it's very interesting to see it as a, as a growth. Yeah towards something greater exactly and look at where you are now like you've got things lined up things are starting to happen now mm. and that was only dude possible. i'm so in flow it's yeah. wild like today's been wild the last <laughs> couple of days have just blown my mind exactly. like i'm just so amazed with the world and everything yeah, yeah it's so stuff, beautiful man. yeah but yeah it's really cool to just see our different paths and mm. and see where there's crossover and everything yeah. as well um yeah yeah dude exactly Good we've got stuff. so much to talk about but i'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm like my arm's dying right now. <laughs> I haven't been. Gonna... This is my workout. I haven't been working out. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, later we can do like a sit down, I guess. Like find find some place sit down for a bit. Yeah, we'll continue and, this uh, in a later date. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the scenes of the content creation process. Exactly. Setting up the shots. Yeah. Love it. Walk back to the corner. It's good to do this with someone who gets into it. <laughs> and, and bike touring where you have to go set up the camera all the time, huh? <laughs> get off the bike, get on the bike. Uh, oh, but you also got to ride oh, the bike across the country too. <laughs> oh, there's a whole like behind the scenes that people just won't see. And it's, it's, it's interesting because I feel like some people do appreciate it. Like yeah. when you put in the effort, they're like, wow, this would have taken a lot of effort. It's like, yeah. yeah but dude. it's only if you see it. You, you only see it if you know it. Oh, so, we've got the camera rolling. Hey, I want to. Yeah. Can, can, can I talk to the camera as well as doing oh, yeah, that? Yeah, is that yeah, cool? Because yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about like that's a cool topic. Is um the idea of like the effort that it takes to create content while you're yes. also cycling across a country. Oh yeah. Because oh, it's like crazy. sometimes like cycling across a country is just enough, right? Oh then yeah. That's creating content like a on huge, top of that. A huge thing in it's itself. Just wild. Creating content, editing uh -huh. it, doing all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And then, and then we can go here. Oh, right. you want me to go back yeah, there? Yeah. yeah, cool. You come here. Yeah. And then three, two, one. And then we continue the conversation. So. <laughs> and yeah, so you were talking about what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but that's the thing, right? Like, I mean, I mean, we're just doing a hike today and we've right. both been, I mean, like on and off with YouTube and that sort of stuff. But yeah. then, like, can you imagine there was a time when we were both doing this daily? Yeah. Cranking out the videos at the same time almost. Yeah. Like, it's just a crazy thing to even... Yeah. Better at this point. Yeah. I, just reflecting on my Japan trip yeah. and right, the we'll creative go. juice that we experienced in yeah. that. It was just like, it's just a beautiful flow of creative 
energy and yeah. essence, like because you're creating every day, editing every day, and then yeah. like riding across the whole country. Staying at the McDonald's for 24 hours. <laughs> I saw that video. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Actually, when I was making your um, your Japan map, that's yeah. when I sort of came back because like. You know, oh, I sort of had to backtrack where you were at the time. Right. So, uh, yeah, it was very cool to see, like, uh, all the things you got up to. Oh, I'm blessed. Yeah. Thank you, mate. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, good times. Are you, are you still in contact with Code? Uh, with, uh, was it Code Speaker? Yeah, it's Eric. Good... Oh, Eric. Eric, yeah. Eric. It's huh? a good day. Eh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, we're, we're, where are we going to? We're going to this waterfall, I think. We're going to check that out. That's yep. like a three and a half kilometer hike. Yeah, probably like two k's to go. Yeah, probably something like that, but uh, it's just crazy, like, the flora and fauna. It's really something I didn't actually expect to be so abundant here, and mm. how many hikers have you seen so far? Yeah, I was about what? to say, what do you love about it so much, Tyus? It's the <laughs> fact the that deal? there's no tourists, there's huh? No one here. If you would go into Taiwan, there would definitely be a couple of people on these trails and everything. Yeah. yeah. Or you would really have to do your research really well. Mm -hmm. Well, we're at a place where there's like a tourist information center and it's all like set Yeah, up. I think what it is though is a lot of people just go there and then yeah. a lot of people don't go on the path less trodden, right? They yeah. they like to stick to the well-worn path. It's not even <laughs> the path less trodden, this is the main path. We just followed the signs, we didn't even look it up or anything like that. We just followed like, oh, this is going to a waterfall, we're just following yeah. that. That's what I mean though, like um, society doesn't want to go that deep. Yeah. And I was trying to get philosophical there, but maybe we can save that chat for another day. Oh yeah. What do you mean there? <laughs> oh the well the well worn path and you know oh, yeah. like that idea of of uh taking a path less less known or there's less something traveled. that is less traveled, it yeah. can be uncomfortable. Um because yeah. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, there's a lot to talk about there. Mm, oh yeah, I don't know 100%. what sort of angle to go with that. <laughs> hey? I don't know what angle to go with that. Because, like, <laughs> have you seen The Matrix movie? I have. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorites, to be honest. It's good, huh? It's, it's really one of my favorites. It's like that, where you feel like you're the one. And it's not an ego sense where it's like, oh, I'm the one and everyone else isn't. No. It's like we all are, but it's yeah. the ability for us to actually understand or yeah. awaken to identify that. Identify it. Yeah, Jeez. identify it or notice it, right? Notice it. Yeah, That's and exactly it seems right. like yeah. I was that person too. Uh, it's like so conditioned in a way that I've never even seen it or mm. observed it or knew it as a possibility of reality. Um, yeah, I mean, I always knew for myself, like when I started bicycle touring, I was already doing something that people around me weren't doing. Well, yeah, so I always knew that like my life was going to be pretty unique in that sense. Um, Did that impact the way you interacted in those spaces? Did you feel like an outsider or an outcast in a way well, because of that? Well, that was the thing, because when I, when like, you know, COVID happened and everything like that, and I actually transitioned into a very normal existence and a very cushy place where I had like a very well-paying job and I was just, you know, making my way to the office every day mm -hmm. or almost every day, so working from home from time to time. Mm -hmm. But I always felt like that was not really the life for me. And then when I did start travel again, I did have a bit of an identity crisis because, like, who are you at that moment? Like, you're not this person that wants to work, but you got this good job and you're kind of almost giving that up. You know what I mean? Luckily, I could still work from them part time. But like, that was a that was a big struggle for me because then I was like, yeah, what do I want to do with my life? Like, where do I want to place it? Do I want to follow the the main path mm -hmm. that everybody's sort of going on and try to do like the um, yeah, just get a cushy job and get a wife and kids and that sort of stuff or do you want to have your life full of adventure and at the time I just didn't have a lot of people around me that were choosing the adventure and I think that's also a key point surround yourself with the people that mm. are kind of like you it's gonna help you out even if that means going on the adventure right to find those people yeah because yeah, like yeah. if you're maybe stuck in yeah. where you are and it, and you can't oh, find yeah. those it people was so difficult. It was I so think difficult. We're, it's so grateful to have the internet though hey like, oh, 100%. I couldn't imagine navigating yeah. that in a space where no. there wasn't the internet to yeah, be able crazy. to help you connect to people it would be very interesting in different ways because like just different cultures would be a bit more isolated mm. so you would get maybe an even more authentic experience but mm. then again I feel like this is also like one of the best opportunities to be able to go out there and yeah it's just so easy but then again yes. it's also like you know you sort of have to keep in contact with people because it's so easy to do that you know right that's so, true yeah you it's, cannot really it's a... accept if you're going to this national park where there is no reception or anything like that <laughs> You know, we don't care, we're just going for it. Yeah, just throw it out there, it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> oh, that feels quite freeing. Oh, well. look oh. how good it is out here, though. It's so Ooh. good. Yeah. So yeah, fun. like that conversation. Like, I think everything we're talking about is like an episode of itself. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. Are you going to put this together? But uh, I'm just going to chuck it all together and see oh, what yeah? happens. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> It's just an expression of creativity. See, that's another thing. That's another topic we could talk about too, is the idea of perfectionism in creativity. Mm. I don't know if you've battled with this. Oh, 100%. Right? I am, I'm a perfectionist, 100%. Mm. Yeah, oh, 100%. This idea, right, just to clarify, that like whatever you put out there has to be the perfect yeah. thing you can make. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't get shipped. It doesn't get put yeah. out into the universe. Yeah. And I think that is something that can stop us from growth and can yeah. stop us from actually just putting it out there and and just seeing what happens yeah. anyway. And that's what I did for two years. I was making mm. videos, but I, I didn't edit them. I couldn't edit them. I couldn't get myself <laughs> to get these videos out there for two years. And then oh. last year, I was finally in a position where I had to lower my ego and sort of be like, well, if I don't edit them now, they'll never be edited. Yeah. <laughs> and that's in the end what I did. And I'm very glad I did because like now I've got these videos that are out there and yeah, but it was a very humbling experience because indeed like perfectionism and I've, I've also like, like Cody, I've struggled with it a lot where, yeah, you just need don't ship until it's perfect and mm -hmm. yeah, you got to ship. You just got to do it. You just ship it out it. there. Even just though it's not it. perfect, you just got to ship it. Just exactly. ship it. Yeah. Because it's in that process of just shipping that you get better, right? Exactly. It's like this idea that exactly. if you just keep doing it and keep repeating yeah. and reps, 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 you, yeah. you get less shit. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be afraid to fail at a good opportunity because mm. there's going to be more opportunities out there. Don't mm. hold on to this one opportunity and like, I got to nail this perfectly because you won't. If you, if you have no experience or if you have little experience in something, the best thing you can do is just run through mm. that iteration fail at it and then you learn the things mm. and then you just gotta wait for the next opportunity but a lot of people are scared because they feel be... like they they aren't good enough for the opportunity right because well, i'm they're reflecting scared of, they're scared of the unknown they're scared of like mm. missing or passing up or failing at this opportunity and then they're scared like it's a scarcity mindset we talked about as well right? yeah they think that That's there's not going to be another opportunity coming their way and there always will be exactly it's fascinating because when i look back on my own journey there's been so many opportunities that have come up where I haven't on paper, where I haven't been qualified for it. Right. Right? Yeah. So it's this idea, like multiple things where it's like, I had this opportunity to do like marketing for a company mm. that I hadn't, I've never, I don't have a marketing degree. I don't, oh, I don't have yeah. prior experience in this. I have yeah. experience with filming on here. That's about all I have. And, right. and my, my willingness to learn in, yeah. in um, less traditional ways, whether it's on YouTube yes. and these other ways, right? Yeah. And I can see that shifting a lot today because a lot of traditional education is no longer 100%. really necessary, yep. right? And you have 100%. this online information age where we can learn anything we want yep. on platforms like this. Um, but a lot of it for me came down to that, right? Like, and it was that inner battle. It's like a very spiritual journey of accepting that you should just yes. take on this opportunity because it's a, yep. it's a pathway to growth. It's a pathway yeah. to moving forward. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just like you got to lower your ego a little bit because like I, when I was like postponing the videos, I had a very high standard for myself because mm. I used to have like a period of success on YouTube and you know, the videos were well flowing and everything like that. And I already had a feeling that these new videos are not going to be an upgrade from that. Mm -hmm. And that's what sort of made me really postpone getting them out there. But then again, like if you want to improve, that's the only thing you can do. Mm. You got to put something out there. And if it's not 100%. this, then what is it going to be? You know, that's so perfect. And I'm reflecting on what you're saying and thinking about this piece of content that I'm going to be putting out. <laughs> right. And like I said, it's not going to really make sense storyline wise, putting all this together, Yeah, yeah. but I'm putting it together and putting it out there because if someone watches one little 10 second part of what you just mentioned yep. in whatever part of this video and they take something from that, and it helps them in some way, then the job's done. Then right? the job is done. The job exactly. is done. Like, yeah. And it's hard to get caught up in that idea of yeah. wanting to and, and get 100,000 like right subscribers. Now, right now, now, you're also realizing, and I'm also realizing, like the content thing, this is like something that we can do. And then mm. we can still take this and we can put this up there. Mm. And from here, we can just do more things. You know, we can just go out again or, mm -hmm. you know, like have a bit of a better eye for, because we've both been a bit slacking on the content side of things. And right. this is like a bit of a wake up call to just, yeah, go out there and, and do more of it to uh -huh. really get back into the groove of things yeah yeah and it's interesting when you're talking about um journaling mm. i feel like this can be a great journal 
um, yeah. getting back in the groove of things whenever you have a thought or something you want to talk mm. about is to just pick up the camera and talk to it. Yeah, now, obviously, yeah, everyone yeah, else's yeah. format is different, but I feel like that yeah. is something that I want to work on. Big. <laughs> 